My Cafe Racer uh, engine runs a little rough and I've checked everything else out so today um, I need to sync them up using a manometer. I don't have one so I'm going to make one this morning. When you step on the gas it opens butterflies inside the carburetors. It's hard to show that with them assembled and on the bike so I made this diagram. But when the throttles closed it basically looks like this and when you open the throttle the butterflies rotate and allow an air fuel mixture to enter the engine. So throttle open, throttle close. What I need to do is synchronize these two butterflies so the vacuum measured on each carburetor is identical. This is what out of sync butterflies look like. If one of these butterflies is open a little bit more or closed a little bit more than the other one, you'll have an imbalance in the carburetor flow. There's a linkage that connects the two butterflies and to sync these up so they both open and close the same amount, all you do is turn the screw. There's a vacuum port on the side of each carb, and that's where I will hook the vacuum line up to. Sort of uh, base and some vacuum line and some fluid that goes inside. I'm going to use this fish pump hose as my vacuum line to make my manometer out of this old yardstick. My meter needs to be 92 centimeters long. Give it a nice coat of paint. I need some index lines to measure the carb balance. Now my vacuum line needs to have equal length ends. I need some holes in the manometer scale to attach my vacuum line. I'm going to use green Kevlar zip ties to attach my vacuum hose. And I'll hold the vacuum lines on the top with some assembly tape. A fork oil in my manometer. So the way this works is if the right side has more vacuum, the level will rise. If the left side has more vacuum, that level will rise. So now I have my completed manometer hooked up. I've got the vacuum lines going to my carburetors. So now when I fire it up, since it's a continuous loop, and then I just need to adjust the screw on the carburetor until I have equal vacuum. That's how you make a manometer for vacuum balancing your carbs. I just need to uh, get some extra plugs, do some plug chops to make sure that my tuning's all correct. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.